Okay. So, uh... Let's just start with a fresh save here. I have no idea what this is. I've never played this. Well, I have some idea what this is. Um, but I'm also streaming this, so if I talk to random people, if this ever ends up getting actually on YouTube, that's just an explanation. I am streaming right now, but I just started the stream. Almost as soon as it's out. People may not show up. <laughs> uh, I've got all, I think I've got this stuff ready. It's a little, probably a little bit loud, so what I'm actually going to do is go into my mixer and turn it down. All right, that will be good. Oop, that's not what I want. It's 20. There we go. Okay, so choose your destination. Exit. Okay, can't, apparently we can't get in here. But I do know that this game is all about puzzles. Leap of faith. Jump. Oh man, it's so bright. Everything is so bright. Hi there. Up. But it's all about sort of mind bending kind of puzzles and very different than the normal game here, than what you would normally think. So this one. Jump! Whee! And you're supposed to miss and fall down to here. End. Click here. Can I actually click that? No, I cannot. Hello. Jump. Nope. Can't reach it there. Okay. Sheep falling off a cliff. Some sort of port that we can't see anything. Failing to succeed does not mean failing to progress. Whoa. There is apparently... Oh, there's more to go. Gives you perspective on what you can and cannot see, even though these walls are actually dark. Gives you some sort of perspective here. Hello there. That's not the same one, is that? That's a different one. Is it not? Or is this the way all the way back? That is the way all the way back. Interesting. <laughs> Click here. Venturing into the unknown can lead to great rewards. So is this like a sneak peek of what's going on? Wee wink. Oh dear. Up or down? Let's go up. A choice may be as simple as going left or going right. Go right again. See the thing about these like I already try to kind of Oh, you can click back to go to the, the thingy again. Like, my brain sort of tries to figure things out and to sort of test the boundaries of edges, so I feel like this game could be pretty interesting <laughs> with me because I like to test things and to, to wonder, well, how many times if I keep going around in a circle like this will it ever be different? And the, the bad thing is, is I kind of have the patience to, to do it, but, nah. If there was not a timer. Okay. That is different. The choice doesn't matter as if the outcome is the same. But does it? See, that was different. There was a different number of uh, corners there. Aha! Da -da 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 -da. When you return to where you have been, things aren't always as remembered. Hmm. Actually, pretty interesting. Losers, can I can I crouch? No, I can walk. Ooh. That activates the lasers. 
lasers. Badoop. Escape. Some choices leave us running around a lot without really getting anywhere. That was freaky. <laughs> Still see the wall, so it's not gonna change. Oh, oh, okay. So you can sort of see your progress, and I've played for an hour. Well, I have an hour. Interesting. So I guess there are different many paths to nowhere. That's beginning there, I guess, and you can go multiple directions, and I'm guessing there's no way in. We came from this way, did we not? No, we went down this way, okay. That's different? That's very different. are linear patterns. Yeah, that is walking. You can control walking like that at the end. Okay, so that means we have to start at the beginning and fall on uh, oh. oh. If we don't jump, it creates a bridge for us. So it's, it's, walk? <laughs> Maybe, oh, did they, did they, they must have changed that. Can I, can I even get through anymore? Oh, I can. Was it this side that we need to go in? It was. How we perceive a problem can change every time we see it. Oof, this game is trippy. See, this one... It's a a uh, eye trick where if you see that as the beak and that is the eye and these is little feathers and that's its little tail, it's a duck. But if you look at it, kind of like if you tilt your head to the left, it's a bunny sitting. That's its steps. So it's, it's the game is pretty cool. It makes you reconsider things and think differently. It's very different than a normal game, which is what's kind of intrigued me. And I've owned this game for a while, but. I've Kind of have kept myself from playing it because I've wanted to sort of record it and I've been waiting for a good time. I think just doing it on my own would be a shame. A solution to a problem may just require a more thorough look at it. Hi there, Mr. I. This is the way we're supposed to be going to. Yeah! Okay, we fell. Picture of a guy getting tripped on his way to running. Rushing through a problem won't always give the right results. Oh dear. This game. It's just, there's so much that it, it wants you to think a certain way. And you're supposed to be like, what? What? W-A-S-D. Spacebar. Does this send me back to the beginning? It does. Okay, so now if we come back to here. 
to let us through. No, it was this way. It was this way because the eye let us go through before. problem may just require a more thorough look at it. Okay, so I guess you could have figured it out by going forward creates these red particles and that's the way you see how it gets all angry at me. I was thinking if you don't look at it and see how it's blue while it's blue is green. Interesting. The visual cues in this game are really kind of interesting. Moving through a problem slower may help find the solution. I feel like we got a peek into this room, did we not? Okay, so we somehow have to get through there without getting through that. And this way is blocked. And this way... will not let us through. Head scratcher then. Can we pick up these blocks or do any type of interaction with these blocks? Can't simply bum rush it, I guess. <laughs> visible the entire time, hasn't it? I apologize. I thought there was a crouch. Isn't there a crouch? Oh, dang it. Now we know. Interact chamber only. Okay, so we sort of went off on this three paths in sight. So let's try a different one. E-L-I-F-E-L-I-F -E -I -F. File Spelled backwards This is, it's, it's so freaky and it's such an interesting dynamic to a game that it's just It's just so Odd that no one's done something like this before where it this just doesn't make any sense in our brains like p positionally like this should be two different things but it, it's an entire box and the way it just makes your brain go all melty and it's just it's just you, you want to explore everything not just sort of rush through all the puzzles, but then all the, the time limit has me like concerned, just like, oh, I don't have to redo everything, but it's like, is that really such a bad thing? Hmm. So it's Xavier hugging Magneto, obviously. But then some things are just plain unexplainable, and it's like you're trying to get a better look at that, and it's like, nope, nope, you're not allowed. It's, it's such a, for it's a, how simple it is, it's such a kind of pretty game that it has these sort of unique and pretty things that you almost expect from like modern art or something. This is explaining 
the ax ax axi? Axis? Because of the X and Z and then Y. Y is sort of funky. I guess it's showing the letter from all axes. Axes? Axes. That's obviously what it is. Meow meow. I don't know why that reminded me of a cat and this one. No one go back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I guess this is to show you to look carefully at things or just. Oh, that guy is losing the race, but now he's winning the race. Interesting. Now he's going over it. I guess it's 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 perspective on how you can see things as a bench, an obstacle, or a victory lap. I don't know. It's you can get all kinds of philosophical and weird, funky ideas from this, <laughs> which is cool. And then you can just sort of appreciate it. And like I, ideas come to mind, but I guess they're wrong. But I guess, I guess it's time to move on. And this one, I guess, is just colored differently, which is. Okay, well, let's move on. When you absorb your surroundings, you may notice things that you didn't see before. Yeah, definitely. Absorb your surroundings. Okay, so that's the same for all of them. Always has me questioning. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> this makes me... Like to take peeks. Ah, it changed on me. Ah, you, you jerk. Okay, so red was the solution. Blue seems to take you back to the starting point. Yep, it does. Blue. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Let's, let's, let's watch again. Yeah, we look down and look up. It's gone. That's cool. It's like the, the green is the path that you want to not take, but it's sort of like pushing you in the way that it's like you, you can't go any other way but that. Okay, so the green. Oh, that, that was different. Wasn't that a left that we went before? Okay, so it's. Is it trying to teach us to go towards what we see as green? And now we're at something different. Or is it just really a big complicated maze? Or are we in like a square of boxes that you can't really illustrate it, but we're just going around the outside by taking the blue path so it, no, 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 because it's actually changing the, the path behind us. I forgot about that, I forgot about that. Brain, this is brain melty kind of game here. So let's try to cross this path here. And it's telling us I don't know. What happens if we walk this way? Okay. It's gonna send us right back. Oh, this one's different. Oh. I just had to sneeze there. I decided to save you from that. If you never stop trying, you will get there eventually. So geographically, or geom geometrically, this should be the opposite side. Some choices can leave, can run us leaving. Can, I can't speak. Some choices can leave us running around in circles. See then, this is the entrance where we started, and we're inside a gigantic peppermint. And there's the point of reference, and it's probably going to tell us to turn around. Or look up, down, running, running, running in circles. Oh crap, I didn't mean to press that. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh you can read all of the things when you absorb your surroundings. Interesting. I keep thinking, I, I forget that this thing has no menu. I was trying to check the time of how long I was actually recording for, <laughs> and I accidentally did that. Stuck in a rut. Click to travel. You kind of had us already in one of these things here. So I'm going to try and split these up a little bit for YouTube, because I can quite easily. I just have to cycle it. 
see some choices we can leave us running around in circles. Oh, we got it. We saved ourselves. Ta -da. And with that, I think we're going to end it for today. This video of Antichamber. It's quite a unique game, if I do say so myself. And I'm glad I took a chance. Raw persistence may be the only option other than giving up entirely. I mean, this is a lot of inspirational quotes and mottos and things to live by. But anyway, thank you for watching. I don't know how to tab out without actually stopping it. But anyway, goodbye.